The human heart is the same. Wherever you go, people need forgiveness of sin. Come into these smaller communities. A lot of times people feel, well, we're passed by. People don't care about us. And I think the smaller communities will know when we leave that God cares. I said, what? You're coming to La Plata? <laughs> I wanted to come out to see souls saved. So I just can't wait to see thousands of souls that are going to come when the gospel is shared. We're all poor without God. It doesn't matter what you have or who you are. Our sins separate us from God. He came from heaven to this earth and he took your sins. He went to the cross, he died, he shed his blood on the cross for your sins. Religion cannot save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. And you've got to come to him by faith. Will you stand tonight? By standing, you're saying to God, I believe Jesus is your son. And I want to trust him as my savior tonight. He said that God will forgive you for your sins no matter what you do. So I decided to stand up to let my heart dwell. It makes me happy because she's just a nine-year-old and she already knows what God can do in her life and that's amazing. I love you. Given an invitation for a person to respond. That's what this is all about. Long after we're gone, the churches will be impacted by this as the churches gain new believers. The gospel has power to change people's lives, regardless of the city, regardless of the circumstance. That simple message is what carries the power. I need God in my heart again. I need Him again in my life. That's why I stand up. There was an older couple, probably in their 80s, and stood up. They, they weren't sure about the loud music, but they were sure about the message of the gospel. And for the first time in their 80s, gave their hearts to Christ. So that was, that was powerful. When I heard the, the ad on the, on the radio, I said, I got to go there. When he said, you can have forgiveness, uh, I said, I need that. I have to do it. And I just felt like this was a great opportunity. When he was talking about how like, you might think that God might not forgive your sins, that kind of touched me there because I wasn't really going the right direction. I wanted to know if God actually forgave me. It was a big choice. Praise God, that's my prayer for my, all four of my kids is to just live their life for Jesus. I love you.